welcome to Budapest. Just left Nagati train station just up there. I'm just doing a wee wander, I've got no idea where I'm going, so it's gonna be a random one. Come with me, I'll show you a wee bit of Budapest and uh, we'll take a little walk by some well-known places probably. I've Google mapped quite a well-known place here, it's not too far away. I've got no accommodation but I've got this wee bag still with me just now, carrying it about with me. Um, going to walk down to kind of more central area going to book in lightly it's going to be a hostel but I'll get a private room because accommodation is very affordable here a lot, of, a lot of shops big offices on the other side here it's a very very busy road this um, near Nagati train station some nice buildings work, some nice architecture as well oh oh Another mistake there. Right. See if we can nip through here just now. Let's go. Okay, so quite a nice tree lined street. We're heading down this way. Um, I don't know if we're going to pass it too much on the way down here, but you never know. You never know. The Google Maps is telling me to go left in 200 metres. We Italians there. Metro is supposed to be quite good um, in Budapest. I don't know if I'm going to be on it. I prefer to walk about to be honest with you in fine places, but it depends on how my foot holds up. More of a kind of residential feel this part. But we'll get into the more kind of touristy bit pretty soon anyway. Um, if you're looking online, there's quite a few good videos um, letting you know about Budapest and the different districts that you can stay in. If you're really into your nightlife, it looks as if the district to stay in is District 7 in the Jewish Quarter. Although, I have seen a few videos basically saying pick your hotel wisely because you might get zero sleep, but I suppose if you're staying in that area, you're not going to mind. District 5 is quite a good central area. I got a wee tip from Lucy. The Benidorm Enthusiast, check out her channel on YouTube, Benidorm Stuff. She was in Budapest uh, recently. And, uh, oh, there's a dream pub. <laughs> she was in Budapest recently and recommended a wee place there, but unfortunately it was fully booked. So, at the weekend, it'll be even busier here, but it's a very, very young vibe, this city, as far as I can see. There's Dropkick Murphy's advertising. Take it that as an Irish bar somewhere. Maybe near here, not sure. There's quite a few Irish bars in Budapest, as there is in most places. I don't know how many are genuine, authentic Irish bars, but we'll find that out probably later on. So basically, you come out of the train station. Now, I've went left down this way, and I'm hoping that's the correct way to find what I'm looking for or in the right direction of accommodation. A wee spa over there. Spas are everywhere, aren't they? Lanzarote is the best for spars. There's about a hundred of them. Yeah, just a lot of random stuff here. Hairdressers across here. Currency exchange. Uh, you need your uh, currency probably sorted before you come here. You can exchange it in places, but I'm not sure what the exchange rates are. I'm only here for the day, so I've got a limited amount of Hungarian money with me. Remember, they don't use the Euros, so... And not everywhere accepts cards. You're best having a wee bit of cash on you, I think. Don't know if I've won the trams either. So you know if you've got time to be investigating all this. McDonald's is straight ahead here. It's about 21 degrees, the sun just came out, actually. It's one of those funny ones, it doesn't feel that hot, but I can still get burnt. Right, for all the McDonald's fans, don't say I don't bring you culture on the channel. I've got McDonald's in a nice building up here, <laughs> on the left-hand side. And I think I'm going left up here. Quite a lot of exchange places, so you definitely need to be careful exchanging your money. Make sure you're getting the correct exchange rate and the terms and conditions and everything. Don't ever accept anybody standing outside these exchange rates after they've shut, offering to exchange money for you. That's a well known scam. 
uh, highlighted in the is it Prague Honest Guide? Can't remember. Can't remember that guy's channel's name, but it's really, really good channel. He exposes all the scammers in Prague. Right. We are going left here. I really should be taking the metro to be fair. A lot easier and quicker probably, but sometimes it's best just to walk about and see things, isn't it? Right, let's get left down here, okay. Here's your chains here, Starbucks as well. Coffee lovers, Starbucks. The bakery cafe. Rolex advertising up the top of that building. Oh, it's a nice street here, eh? Noodle bar. Bit of a random one, this, but sometimes it's good just to do a random one. There's no real, real plan apart from I'm just kind of going down to this area and I'm going to see if there's any accommodation here. I don't even know what district I'm in just now. But, oh, ideally, I should be probably near District 7 because I'll end up taking videos near the ruins bars tonight it'll be easier just to be in that area just when I finish doing the videos that's the plan, it sometimes doesn't work out that way tell me to turn left here which I'm surprised at but I will follow the Google Maps Uh oh. Yeah, it's just went up there, I don't believe that. I'm going to go down this way. That lady was lying to me in Google Maps. I increased it by one minute and down that way. Let's continue back down this street. There's the name of the street here we're on. Oh, it's getting hot and I've got this damn fleece, I need to get it tied around my waist. Tricky one because at night it definitely cools down. So we might need a wee fleece sometimes at night, but the temperature here the last few days has been 27, 28 degrees. So I don't think you do, but unfortunately the day I'm here, it's going down to 20, 21, which means at night it's going to be a lot colder. Maps is redirecting me, which is never a good sign. We have got lost on the first walk in Budapest. We have got lost for us. It did not end well. <laughs> the maps is going mad. That building there. Oh dear, we were up again in minutes. Okay, I need to reroute this Google Maps. It did not end well, viewers. A random walk in Budapest and nowhere to stay yet. Don't know where I'm going. Have found some nice buildings, to be fair. Um, okay, thanks for watching to the end, especially this one. It wasn't the most exciting, was it? Um, nice wee walk for you. If you're on your treadmill, walk with me for 10 minutes. Okay, thanks for watching, viewers. Um, I need to figure out where I'm going. I need to get rid of this bag. Urgently. Hop on, hop off bus tickets over there. No idea where I am. No clue.